Hi, my name is Jeff Landis. I'm a captain at Contra Costa County Fire Protection District, Fire Station 81. Today I'm introducing you to the Type 3 fire engine. Type 3 fire engine is quite a bit different than the Type 1 fire engines that you're used to, uh, the ones that you see rolling down the street every day. The Type 3 is specifically built for wildland firefighting operations. Contra Costa, as you probably know, has a lot of hills, uh, has a lot of uh, mountain streams, um, areas where regular fire engines can't access. So what we've developed and what we use in our fire district is we use a Type 3. The Type 3 has four-wheel drive capability. It sits quite a bit higher off the ground. It still has a 500 gallon water tank in it, but it's able to get places that the regular engines can't get to. Um, this means that we can go up hills, uh, we can go into the stream areas, we can go into um, areas uh, that normally we wouldn't be able to access. The other thing that this apparatus has is it has the ability to drive and pump water while it's driving. So we can have our firefighter, potentially our captain out front with a hose line, and we can go right up the side of the fire flank and fight the fire as the uh, vehicle is moving. This gives us a lot of capabilities, especially with the hundreds and hundreds of acres of wildland area that we have in Contra Costa County. The other thing that's slightly different with this Type 3 fire engine uh, as compared to the Type 1 or the larger city fire engines is that the equipment is a little bit different. So you see what I'm wearing today is I'm wearing a firefighter, uh, an outfit that the firefighters wear when they're fighting wildland fires. You can see that it's, it's more of a regular type, pant type material, a regular shirt. This protects us from flames, but we're not in an actual burning building or in an area where we're necessarily going to come right up against flames. So it can be lighter weight. Also, as you might imagine, in the wildland environment, we do a lot of hiking. So we have to have an equipment that's much lighter and, and uh, more easy, easy for us to get around in. Um, you'll also notice we carry water on our hip because we're away from the engine uh, quite often. One of the other things that you've probably heard about is we have a wildland fire shelter on the back. What that allows us to do is it allows us to escape the flames if we get overwhelmed or overrun by fire. We can un, un, uh, unfold this tent and it's a foil type tent and we can get inside it and it will protect us. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we have. What I mentioned before is that we do have ALS firefighter or ALS equipment for medicals. So this is our medical equipment cache and that's what we have in case there's a medical emergency on any of the uh, fires that we go to. One of the things that's very important for us in, in wildland firefighting are tools that are able that we are able to use in the wildland environment. So these shovels, uh, these McLeods, these Pulaski's, those are all used in the wildland environment to cut brush, to cut through grass, to make um, fire breaks and that type of thing. Also saws are very important to us in the wildland fire environment because we need to keep, take down bushes, trees and that type of thing. As I was mentioning before, we don't have as much hose as we normally, as we would on a type 1 fire engine. The hose that we do have is much lighter weight and we keep it in packs like that so that we can carry it up hills and deploy it on hillsides away from, uh, away from the fire engine if necessary. One of the other things we have on this Type 3 engine is we do have our air packs. We don't plan on using them, but should we be in a situation where there is a structure fire, a car fire, or something where we need our air packs, we have those as well. But we rarely use these um, just because it's an engine dedicated to the fire, uh, wildland fire. We have seats for four people. In our department, we normally carry three people on the engine. Sometimes when we go out of the area to support our allied agencies or people within the, or other organizations within the state, we will carry four personnel. But on a day-to-day -day basis, we just use three. Remember that if you see this uh, engine coming down the road, you need to pull to the right and stop. It is very important we get to these wildland fires quickly and your assistance in moving to the right and stopping is very helpful for us. If you would like more information regarding the Contra Costa County Fire Protection District or this Type 3 fire engine, check us out at cccfpd.org and thank you for joining us.